Hi, it's Simon Reynolds again, and today I want to talk about what I think is one of the biggest obstacles to entrepreneurs growing their business to a great degree, and that is perfectionism. Now, it's tricky because a lot of the reason that you've become successful is you have a fair degree of perfectionism. Your standards have been higher. Uh, with what you demand from yourself and what you demand from your staff and what you demand from the products that you produce and as a result of that you've you've had a lot of success but it's tricky because as your company grows it becomes more complex and the sheer number of things that you have to do increases dramatically and what I have found coaching entrepreneurs from all over the world from almost every different type of industry and almost every in, uh, company size is if an entrepreneur continues to focus on perfectionism then their company often doesn't grow very fast. In my experience let's say you've got 10 things to do it's far better to get those 10 things done than it is to endlessly finesse two or three of those things so for instance the product doesn't make it to the market for another six months because you're working on it or you don't do the marketing campaign because you're perfecting it or you don't uh, end up hiring staff because you're endlessly perfecting you know your your ad to, to get the staff etc 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 and perfectionism is really slowing companies down now I get it you want to have high standards but on the other hand perfectionism is a danger so what's the solution well there's a very simple one that I'd really like you to try for the next few weeks and see how you go with it and that is for most tasks do them to 80% excellence and then move on now that's a very powerful strategy. It's simple to say, but extremely potent when put into use. Why? Because when you really think about it, that 80% is probably all your clients want. Your 80% is probably better than a lot of people's 100%. So your clients are generally happy. Your staff don't particularly want any more than that. Your, uh, uh, everybody around you is not seeking more than 80% in most cases. So number one, with only 80% of the work, the, your constituency of, of, of people around you, employees, staff, etc., customers, they're happy. Number two, you save an enormous amount of time because it's the 20% extra that you spend making something really good that takes a lot of time. It's often the hardest part. So when you, only, when you do things to 80% excellence, you find then instead of getting a handful of things done, you get triple over the course of, the, of a month uh, done than you normally would. So give it a shot. 80% excellent and then move on. It's going, uh, it's going to be incredibly effective time-wise and it's also going to be incredibly effective uh, from a mental point of view. A lot of your stress will reduce in two ways. A, you won't have the stress of doing something to a super high standard and B, you're going to feel great uh, and, and much relieved that you're, you're getting back in control of your business. And instead of having a business where you just see this wall of things that still have to be done, you've got a business where most of the key stuff has been done. The 80% formula, it's really powerful.